What is hazing? That is the question that we have to ask after this whole Sousa Wagner football situation. Uh, the JV and the varsity. Now, let me break it down for you folks. Apparently, there was this camp. All of these high school uh, football teams, they have camps. They go away and everything. I remember Port Richmond used to do I never played football as, as you can tell by my uh, physique. Uh, maybe the pounds that I put on, maybe I'd, I'd be a good lineman now, but uh, I was nothing but skin and bones with a little bit of muscle in high school. So uh, football really wasn't my thing. But I knew a lot of guys from football, knew the football coaches, and uh, you know they, they go away and everything to a camp. And there was this camp situation slash incident uh, regarding Susan Wagner high school football. And apparently, you had these kids hazing, uh, pulling their pants down, and rubbing kids who were asleep, rubbing their faces into their asses, drawing penises on their faces, and doing other stuff that is is not even worth mentioning. Now, there was a, a parent that said, well, this isn't hazing. Well, really, then what is hazing? Do you want to call this maybe bullying? Because it's not just peaches and roses. And listen, I know football isn't supposed to be, you know, ballet here. I know that. I know there's going to be some ribbing, and this is with every sport. I know football is a little bit more macho and... You know, the testosterone's kicking in with the kids, especially in high school, and they feel like they rule the world. I get that. But when you have an incident like this, and you have parents coming out saying, well, there was nothing done wrong. Really? Really? There was nothing done wrong. Maybe one of these mothers should, should have someone, when she's asleep, uh, pull their pants down and rub their asses, rub her face all across their ass. Or draw draw a penis on her face. So, some of these mothers that are coming to the aid of their sons, who are no angels, mother, just letting you know. Your kids aren't angels. And I think it was handled right. Now, I don't know if uh, they will be able to start the season on Saturday only because you need a certain number of practices to be eligible for the first game. That's as a team. So, yeah, I used to do a PSL show on, on radio, so stick that to the people who don't think I know PSL football. You need to have a certain number of practices. So I don't know if they're going to be able to uh, compete against Port Richmond. If they do, however... Uh, and again, the season will go on. It was suspended and now it's on again. People have been suspended and rightfully so. But this is going to be the talk of the whole season. And another thing that I want to mention, there was this father. He writes, Yeah, they suspended my son. Why? I don't know. They suspended him because they said he he knew what was going on and he didn't say anything about it. My son's being punished for being there and not saying anything. Well, listen, idiot. If your son knew what was going on, he should have said something. And then the text messages, you can't tell anyone what happened. We went through worse stuff last year. Yeah, stuff like this, certain stuff like this to this to this level a little bit happens at high school go away camps. I get that, but not like this. And Susan Wagner, to me, this football team is a disgrace. And Paterzo has no clue, no clue. You've had a great run. You won Susan Wagner a lot of city championships. Thank you, Al. If you're a Susan Wagner fan, thank you. And as a Staten Islander, thank you. You won Staten Island in a lot of... In addition to Wagner, you won Staten Island. You represented Staten Island in a lot of championship games. Good job. You had a great career. 
And I'm not comparing this to Joe Paterno or anything like that. I know some people are doing that. That's out of line. But the fact is, on the field, they've been nothing but a joke. Last year they had a little better of a season. 1-8, and 2-7 and seven last couple of years. 3-6, and six, they're just bad years. Bad football teams. Talent not being utilized. And now you have the off-the-field stuff. And my thing is when the on-the-field product's not great, not that great, and there's a ton of off-the-field issues, to me, that's when I say, maybe the guy in charge shouldn't be the guy in charge. And I'm not sitting here calling for a firing. I'm just saying, if you're Susan Wagner, you got to look into this. Because... Maybe he's not the right guy for the job. Let's put it that way.